one, we've got the, the general ledger. So if I right click on that and open that in another window, we've got the GL report. Now, if you've taken accounting classes in a, a school environment, l learning accounting from the, the books, from a book or something like that, 010122, 123122 tab, and then run this, then the general ledger is thought of as, is going to be the detail report. Now, if you look at it here, you're saying, hey, look, this looks like the transaction detail report. So if you work from the bookkeeping's perspective, you're going to say, hey, look, I've seen this report. That's the report whenever I go into a balance sheet, for example, and I go into the checking account, I drill down on it, I get a transaction detail report, which is giving us the information by date of transaction and all this other neat stuff along with it, as well as the increases and decreases to the account account that from an accounting perspective if you, if you learned it in the classroom this report this would basically be a general ledger report for cash the account of cash uh, so you can also run the entire general ledger which would be all of the accounts so if i collapse these you could see all of the accounts right for the general ledger so before we had access to software oftentimes the accountant, if they were going to do financial statements or an audit or even possibly taxes, might want the entire general ledger in this format so they can get the detail supporting what's on the balance sheet. Might be less relevant these days given the fact that you can go into the actual balance sheet if you have access to the software and drill down on it that way. So it's similar information. So there's the general ledger, the GL, 